Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today we're reviewing this GQ EMF 390 meter. Now the good thing about this meter is that it claims to record up to 10 gigahertz, 10 gigahertz frequencies. Oh, there we go. GQ Electronics EMF meter. Your health matters. I like this uh, American company over here in the world. Got this guy from Australia and it is an EMF meter that detects up to 10 gigahertz of RF radiation. That is a lot higher than my current EMF meter. This guy only goes 3.5. That's just basic 5G. Not good enough, rubbish. So we got some mid-level 5 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. This also supports the Wi-Fi that I'm currently using. So I was very excited about using this product. I mean, it's about the same price as this guy, but it has a wider frequency breadth but you can kind of tell I'm not that excited about this review. It's got like almost five stars on Amazon, so I was expecting it to work, and I've been testing this out for the whole day, and I just can't make sense of the readings. It just feels like it's a bit, I'm gonna say feels because I don't know for sure, I need better equipment to test this stuff out, but it doesn't correlate to the actions of what is going on. For example, when I hold this meter right next to my Wi-Fi router at five gigahertz, so I'm right next to my Wi-Fi, router, this is five gigahertz. To be honest with you, I'm not sure how accurate this device is. It's pretty much at yeah, room level milliwatts. It doesn't move the needle much, so I don't know what's going on there. When my MacBook Pro is uploading data, it uses less milliwatts per meter squared than it does when it's idle. I guess another test I can do is test my laptop's 5G. So I'm gonna run speed test and that will get lots of radiation coming out of my radio. And even though my Wi-Fi is uploading as fast as possible, it's still only detecting one or two milliwatts per meter squared. So I'm not quite sure if this device actually works. Really, when you're running the test, it should at least spike up because it is pumping out the Wi-Fi. So for it to say it's only two milliwatts all the time, it's a bit strange. So I've just switched over to two gigahertz Wi-Fi and as you can see, we're getting a detection. Some stuff is happening on the 10 Mars, and it's now getting 10 to 28 milliwatts per meter squared of radiation. So I don't think this guy actually works up to 10 gigahertz like it states it does. It's just gone that level no matter what is happening. And it just randomly started beeping for like a couple of seconds, shot up to 156. So I if I'm having to guess, I might have got, what's this about? Just some random spikes. I have a feeling that this guy maybe isn't calibrated or maybe I got a dud. When I have my phone uploading, when my phone uploading at five gigahertz, it seems to also follow that trait. So by default, it's still at seven milliwatts per meter squared. It's five, over five gigahertz Wi-Fi. Uploading, even though it's uploading fast, it's gone down to six milliwatts per meter squared, even though it's uploading RF. That makes no sense whatsoever. It just feels, uh, I'm gonna say feels because it just, I can't again prove it, but it's just very random what I'm getting. The only accurate reading, I say accurate, accurate as much as I could, is when I, <laughs> when I cook uh, a glass of water, or well, cup of water in the microwave, it, both of these meters shoot up very, very close. This one goes up to 700 milliwatts per meter squared. This one goes up to 500 milliwatts per meter squared. So I'm not sure what is quite going on with this meter. The good thing about this one, it came with a factory, factory calibrated sticker on it. So someone actually tested it out and made sure it works. This one on the other hand, there's a user factory, well, user calibration mode. When I put that mode on, yeah, the levels just went way high. What you do there is in the menu system, you click on user calibration, you need to find a spot in your house where you think, where you think, you don't know, you think it has low EMF radiation, and that's where you set as the zero point, and from then on, the readings are there. All right, here you go. In the menus, oh, it's a bit weird, but in the menus, you need to go into init setup, and, and there's an EMF zero reference point and you just need to find a place which has the lowest amount of EMF and then use that as a reference point for zero. So calibrate, I'm gonna say yes. 
Accuracy wise, I don't know what's going on. I've had this next to my phone and it says my phone shoots up to 70 milliwatts per meter squared when it's not doing anything. And then when it's uploading, it shoots all the way down to five milliwatts per meter squared. So I'm just not sure about the readings that's coming out of this guy. One thing I will say though, is look at the battery life here. I've been using it for the past half an hour to an hour and it's still at 87% battery life. Whereas this guy is down two bars. So even though this guy only uses one battery and this guy requires three batteries, this guy has a really great battery life. Just look at that, that meter. I've been using it for the past hour. I know this guy is, uh it's, it's a good price, 200 Australian dollars, very, very similar price to this guy, and it has a greater breadth of frequency. Maybe I've got a dud. I saw in the reviews one EMF specialist, all the other guys loved it for the price and all that stuff, but there was one EMF specialist, he said that he received a dud and he complained to GQ and they told him, uh, they, replaced, they replaced it and then they told him to just go away. So maybe I got a dud, maybe there's duds out there, maybe you just need to be careful. Let me know if you guys have one of these units and what kind of readings you're getting. Does it actually make sense to the actions you're performing? For example, if you go on speed test on Google, on your phone, when you start downloading data, you know, it should be receiving RF from your Wi-Fi router or from the mobile cell networks. But when it's uploading data, that's when it should be broadcasting higher <laughs> RF levels, right? And if you get a higher reading when it's uploading data than it does when it's idle, then maybe your one works. And if it doesn't do that, then maybe it doesn't work or maybe there's a lag. I don't quite know what's going on, but yeah, I can't recommend it based on what I've seen. I'm sorry to say that. Maybe, you know, the good thing about Amazon where I got mine is you can easily return your product. So if you do have one that isn't quite working, contact their support, see what you can get. Maybe you can get a firmware update. Mine was on, yeah, a new new firmware. I checked the manuals and way, way higher than what the manual suggested. So I think I've got a good one there, but I won't be using this unit. Anyway, if you do happen to get a good one that works and it's um, all that good, the menus are insane. You've got so many different options. It's got graphs, it's got charts, it even has an RF like detector level. That one only works up to 2.4 gigahertz and it tells you what, what frequency levels the device you're trying to connect to is using. For example, it tells you if it's on 700 megahertz or 2.4 gigahertz, you know, if you're using that mobile phone kind of like stuff. So that's pretty awesome stuff. I've never seen that before on one of these devices. So that's pretty cool. You connect to your computer, you can download an app and analyze all this stuff. But I did not go all that way because um, the readings I'm getting, it's just, it's just, okay, I'm using this to broadcast my audio. I'm gonna put this right next to it. You can't see, and it's still the same milliwatt per meter squared levels that <laughs> when it's not around. Like right now it says the room's ambient one is it's the same. Look at this, I've just held it in a different angle and now it's saying that it's 60 milliwatts per meter squared, even though nothing's transferring over Wi-Fi. But it's stuck at, now it's dropped to five, four, test it again, 50, nothing's happening, seven, Fifty, nothing's happening. Now we're downloading. It's still at sixty. Uploading, it's at seventy. Fifteen. Even though it's still uploading, it went down from seventy to fifteen. Yeah, so I don't quite know what's going on. So I can't fully recommend this accuracy. But go out there, check out other reviews. I might be completely wrong about this one. I'm out. I've got duds. I think what I'll do now is I'm just gonna have to invest in one of those thousand plus dollar units the really, really expensive ones, and just let you know how accurate that one is compared to the current units that are currently tested, because that's the only way to really find out what is going on. And if you don't know about RF radiation, all that kind of stuff, check out my uh, 5G playlist to let you know about the situation with that kind of stuff. But I just thought I'd uh, just give my review of this unit because it's best-selling, five-star reviews on Amazon, very, very good product on paper. However, in my testing, I can't recommend it. I'm sorry about that. Let me know how you guys are enjoying the world and I hope you guys found this useful and enjoyed the show.